Oh boy, do we have a story for you on this episode of Saints of the Day. Get ready to learn why Joseph is the best man to marry, ever. March 19th Picture this, a young woman named Mary finds out she's pregnant, and her betrothed, Joseph, could have easily kicked her to the curb. But instead, he decides to keep her secret and protect her from the judgment of others. What a guy! The first definition we find of Joseph in the Gospel of Matthew is a righteous man. When faced with his betrothed Mary's inexplicable pregnancy, he does not think of his own pride or wounded dignity. On the contrary, he thinks of saving Mary from the malice of others, from the stoning to which she could be condemned. He did not want to repudiate her publicly, but to leave her in secret. However, in his understandable anguish and suffering, God's love comes to meet him through an angel who came to relieve him and suggest to him the most just choice. Do not be afraid to take Mary, your wife, for what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus. An angel accompanies Joseph in the most difficult moments of his life. His attitude, in the face of the words of the heavenly messenger, was one of confident obedience, he receives Mary as his wife. And after the birth of Jesus, the angel warns him again about the danger of Herod's persecution. Then, at night, he fled with his family to Egypt, a foreign country, where he had to start over and look for work. Matthew, in chapter 13, speaks of his profession as a carpenter, when the skeptical inhabitants of Nazareth ask, Is this not the son of the carpenter? Thus, he gains the trust of his neighbors. And when the angel returns once again to warn him of Herod's death, inviting him to return to Israel, he took his wife and son with him and took refuge in Nazareth, in Galilee, under the angel's guidance. Joseph's life teaches us about obedience, righteousness, and trust in God. He was a man who listened to God's voice and followed it, even when it meant going against social norms or risking his life. As a carpenter, he worked hard to provide for his family, and he gained the respect and trust of his community through his honesty and integrity. He was a humble man who put the needs of others before his own, and he was willing to make sacrifices for the sake of those he loved. Joseph's example reminds us that being a righteous man is not just about following rules or being religious, but about living a life of love, compassion, and service to others. In today's world, where many people are struggling with issues of identity, purpose, and meaning, Joseph's life is a beacon of hope and inspiration. He shows us that we can find meaning and purpose in our work, our relationships, and our faith, and that we can make a difference in the world by living a life of integrity, compassion, and service. Joseph's story challenges us to be obedient to God's will, even when it is difficult or uncomfortable, and to trust that God's plan for our lives is good and perfect. In a world that often values power, wealth, and success above all else, Joseph reminds us that the true measure of a man is not in what he achieves, but in how he lives his life and how he treats others.